Well, welcome back, everybody. We are in full swing here. We're in the kitchen with Amala Hold and her daughters, Rachel and Giselle. Say hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> As you can see, they're pretty excited. And that's the idea here, Mom, Aww. is to get the kids in the kitchen. Yes. Yes, they get to learn so much mm -hmm. just hanging out. They get to see the, you know, the basic pieces being put together. My girls love to come. Take a bite of onion from me, oh. a bite of tomato. Oh. They will talk about ginger. They'll say, can I eat this or not? Curry leaves. We talk about the health benefits of each one of those. It's just so great to have them in. I'm just passing along the skill, and I love it. You love it. Yeah. Girls, do you know what we're making today? Can you tell our viewers what we're going to make? Okay, so I think that's a unanimous egg puffs, everyone. <laughs> so, you know what, Amala, we're going to start over here. The girls are going to kind of, you know, work ahead of us a little bit, and we're going to get back to them in just a moment. But where do we actually begin? Indian cooking is about building flavors, layers upon layers of flavors. And this very simple recipe will demonstrate just that. Okay. Here, we, what I've started is clarified butter, otherwise known as ghee, and okay. a little oil mixed in about a tablespoon Where's each. And in that, I started with cumin seeds. It's flavoring the oil. So now you have this flavored oil that I added one whole onion okay. and a shallot cut up into it and one green chili <laughs> sliced <laughs> really <laughs> small. Okay. And so here, it's the next level of flavor go in it. Ah. When this comes to, now this is a place you really want to let it brown, like you want to get it to a nice light brown. I did this in, the, in my cooking class and when you hurry it through, it doesn't, it doesn't taste the same. It's just amazing. Here you wait for a good six to seven minutes until you get a nice brown around the edges of the onion. Beautiful. When that happens, at that point I add my chopped curry leaves in. Okay. And fresh grated ginger. Okay. To grate ginger, I tell you, yeah, this is the best tool. It costs about all of three dollars. And we're talking fresh ginger, right? That's right. Like this here? Yes. Yes. And ginger cooks so quickly in the oil, so you at this point I don't stir it more than 30 seconds maybe. Okay. Tops. Look at that. Okay. You just great that, huh? Okay. And and when your onions are beautifully light light brown and your ginger is cooked, then I add my tomatoes. Okay. What's interesting is you like you said earlier, these cream puffs that we're making can be made vegetarian. You can add meat to them if you want. Vegetarian egg puffs are uh, I'm sorry, vegetarian puffs are just as popular as egg puffs in India. Where do you oh, find this, though, in India? What part of India? It is actually from the southern part of India, very popular as an evening snack found in bakeries, um, had with a cup of tea. And guess what? I brought you. Oh, I know Masala you did. tea. Oh, so you can taste the authentic way. Mom brought tea. Are we going to have some tea? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Mm. So we're going to let that brown. What did you bring here, Amala? What is that we're looking at? So, so as we finish this, okay. completely at the end, when your sauce becomes homogenous, your tomatoes have disintegrated and becomes a sauce, it kind of looks like this. At that point, you add fresh homemade garam masala okay. and chopped cilantro. Well, look at that. Now, I would like to encourage my viewers, your viewers, to make your homemade garam masala, and that's what these spices are. Maybe oh. I should have known this. But it has my recipe, which we've posted online on, on uh, the WTNH website. These are just six spices. Coriander, cumin, fresh cardamom, black pepper, cloves, and cinnamon. You just, this recipe calls for just one cinnamon stick. I just broke it down using a mortar and pestle. Amala, what do you put it in? I mean, we you just grind it? You just dry roast it in a pan. Okay. Cool it, and then grind it in a coffee grinder. That's it, and it keeps for up to six months in a nice airtight glass jar. Wow, okay. And even at the end of six months, this taste, this garam masala tastes much better than the store-bought one. So if you're a young viewer out there, a teenager, you want to impress your father for Father's Day, go out, get these spices, make fresh garam masala, impress your parents. What do you I say? Oh, I love it. Absolutely. Okay, so now we would have let this cook down, you said, until it's really brown, but it needs to look like this. Yes. Okay, this check is this your out, final everybody. product. Let's see. And this is the masala that goes on top of oh, the wow. egg which Rachel is assembling right now. So, Rachel, let's bring you in over here. I'm going to stay. Why well, not stand next to you? I'll be really towering over here. Giselle, get on in here with us. So, okay, walk Rachel, us through, Rachel. show us how to assemble? What you've done, and you have an egg that you ha have boiled and you've cut in half, right? Yeah. So, we start with puff pastry. Okay. And that's what this is here. That's is a puff all it pastry. is. It's so easy. So, you start with half an egg. And, Rachel, what did you do there? Can you tell us what you've done? Um, put, I put some... Mommy, I need some more. Oh, oh. here you go. <laughs> 
Some more of the masala. Take some more. Okay. Right here. I know all the moms are like that. It's my daughter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A spoon of the masala over. Wrap spoon. it around. <laughs> oh, look at there. Good job. This is great. How old are you, Rachel? Seven. Seven. And you know how to do this already? Yeah. Okay, so now what are you going to do? I get to do it like every time, like the every last, time you make the it? last two okay. times. And okay. then, excuse me, I'm just going to show, how, show viewers how to do your seal. You just make your seal. Oh, make a and seal wrap and it wrap over. it over. Okay. And you, and you want to take it and place it upside down. And my sister's going to paint And Giselle will show how to paint it. Okay, so Giselle painted for us. Now, we are against the clock. Let's talk about how long we cook these really quickly and at what temperature. It goes in a 400 degree oven for exactly 20 minutes. When you take it out of the oven, you want to remove it right away oh. and put it on a cooling rack. Just like it's that. Oh one. my goodness. Look at here. Girls. <gasps> Giselle, Rachel, look at this. This is what you girls are making, huh? Yeah, it's like so tasty. Oh, look at there. Can we all have a bite together? Absolutely. Shall we all eat a little bit? Okay, well, the pass one to Rachel. <gasps> Thank you so very much, Amal. If you would like to give this a shot for yourselves, everybody, you can come to our website, WTNH.com, click on Connecticut Style, and it will be right there for you. I, I, saw, the, um, I saw the trucks outside. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Did you see them? You know you're at News 8, right? Take a bite and, and tell the bite. viewers how you like it. Mmm. 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 Mm. Oh, Amal, it's amazing. Always amazing. Mm. Much more Connecticut Style. Wave to the camera, everybody. Say bye.